CompTIA ITF Plus, FC0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 146 through 150. This video is part of our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 146. For retailers needing precise reporting to guide business decisions and inventory management, which of the following is most effective in facilitating report creation? The answer is A. Data Capture and Collections. The process of data capture and collection is at the core of making data-driven business decisions, such as creating detailed and accurate reports for retailers. These processes involve gathering pertinent information, often in real time, from various sources or transactions, which is then organized and stored for analysis. Question 147. A system administrator configures a new server with RAID technology to ensure that, in the event of a single hard drive failure, the information is mirrored on a separate drive, safeguarding against data loss. What business continuity concept is illustrated by this setup? The answer is C. Fault tolerance. Fault tolerance refers to the system's ability to continue operating smoothly in the event of a component failure, like a hard drive. By using RAID technology, the system is set up to automatically mirror data across multiple drives. If one drive fails, the system can continue to function using the data on the other drives, preventing any disruption in service or loss of data. This redundancy is a fundamental aspect of fault-tolerance systems, ensuring continuous operation and data integrity, even during a hardware failure. Question 148. Which of the following should a technician implement to mitigate the threat of an MITM attack? The answer is C. TLS. TLS, or Transport Layer Security, combats the risk of a man-in-the-middle attack by encrypting internet-transmitted data, rendering intercepted information by potential attackers unreadable. It establishes a secure connection that prevents unauthorized individuals from spying on or altering the data, thereby protecting the data's confidentiality and integrity during transmission. Question 149. Which of the following computing devices is most likely to be powered by an ARM processor? The answer is B. Tablet. Tablets commonly use ARM processors because these chips provide efficient performance without consuming much power, which is ideal for devices needing long battery life and lightweight processing. The ARM architecture's balance between power and performance makes it suitable for portable devices like tablets and smartphones that require reliable operation without frequent charging. Question 150. Which of the following is the most effective way to restrict Telnet access? The answer is D. Host-based firewall. Implementing a host-based firewall is the most effective strategy for restricting Telnet access because it allows for the direct management of incoming and outgoing network traffic on a specific device. By setting rules to block the Telnet protocol ports, the firewall prevents unauthorized or potentially harmful remote communications, enhancing the host's security profile. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.